Hey YouTube, how's it going? Tyler, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to jump an ATX power supply. It's a really simple step, and it's something that, you know, can come in handy a lot. So, I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys how to do this. So, first things first, I'm the realist, no. First things first, you're going to have to have a power supply of some sort. Of course, I just have this little Premio 200 watt, I believe. Yeah, 200 watt. Uh, it's just a little ATX power supply, and, you know, that's all the requirements really are. You know, want something to jump it, this can either be a paper clip or in this case a safety pin, which I cut off the point and the other little lead. Uh, but, you know, either works. Anything metal that'll clip into the, both of the prongs will work. Uh, and of course, you're going to want to have a power lead for the power supply just so you can test it and make sure because it's kind of pointless. Now, uh, why would you want to do this? Uh, if you're going to turn the power supply on, you'd want to have it plugged into a motherboard and whatnot, right? Anyway. Well, uh, you know, that's true. That It makes sense. I can see where people will come from. But if you're going to be doing something like, you know, testing or water cooling or something like that, you know, that's the way it would come in handy. In this case, I'm going to be testing two of these rather interesting case fans. I just want to see how they perform over a few days or hours because I just re-lubricated them and I want to make sure they're quiet before I put them into service. So let's go ahead and get on into this. So first off, you want to go ahead and either obtain or make your little clip. Of course, in this case, like I said, I just used a safety pin and used a pair of needle nose pliers to snip off the either end to where it's just a piece of metal that can join up to connectors. Now what you want to do is you want to find your power supply's 24 pin, or in this case, a 20 pin. And the 20 pin should look something like this. It's a big block style connector, rectangular, and uh, it's got a bunch of different you know, cables or different colors on it. In this case, what we're going to be looking for is the black and the green. Now, uh, as you can see, there's the black and the green right there. And if you're colorblind like me, you might want to take special precaution doing this because you don't want to blow anything up. <laughs> just, just, just saying. Anyway, uh, you want to get your paper clip and you want to find the green and the black. It can be any black on the connector. It doesn't matter which one. So we're just going to go ahead and use the two closest connectors just so we can, let me swap hands here, just so we can put enough tension on either of the prongs so the paper clip doesn't slip out. So something like that. And there you go. Now it's jumped. Now to, uh, to use this, you're going to go ahead and just make sure the power supply is plugged in. Let me just go ahead and get the fans plugged up too. I'm just going to split them into each other like this. Then go ahead and find the cable of choice. Of course, I guess we'll just use this one because it doesn't really matter. Oh, these. If you guys have ever had problems plugging in these stupid Molex connectors, don't worry, you're not alone. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so that's plugged in now. So theoretically, both of these fans should spin up without having anything else plugged into the power supply. So without this in view, we're going to go ahead and plug the power supply in and see if what I did works or if it's going to be a massive failure. And there you go. It jumped off rather nicely, actually. These fans are trying to move. But yeah. There you guys go. So thank you all for watching this video. And if I helped anybody, which I hope I did, leave me a thumbs up. So there you go. That's how you jump an ATX power supply.